hello, this is Chad McRae, and today I'm going to go over the first script we're introducing into our open source RPG game. It is the player character, which is just some metadata about the player. You can add new properties, you can modify these, and this gives you a solid starting point to create a prototype of this. And what this is, is just a simple 3D model with a script attached to it that ties into the UI. The UI has two progress bars. One is health in red that can be subtracted by hitting the enter key on your keyboard. And the second being your experience bar. And your experience bar can actually level you up. And I've got a script that will level your character up. So let's take a look at that real quick. Pretty simple. I have just some basic stuff. Your character name, which displays in the text box above both the health and the experience bar. Your maximum health, your current health, and then a percentage of health remaining. And that's what controls the width of the health bar. Then I've got a property for current level, starting at level one. How much uh, experience you have at your current level. And then I have a, a list of integers that show the exponential growth of the experience per level required. Right now, maximum level of five and then again a percentage of level complete similar to health remaining this will grow instead of shrink uh, and then I have three UI elements health image experience image and the name tag and in the start I'm checking truthies on each UI element and if it doesn't exist then I'm using game object to find find that object and get the right component text image and image and then I'm setting up some of the values so inside the text UI element there's a text property and that's what you actually assign the character name current health will start out as the maximum health current XP to level I'm just defaulting the current characters level experience to zero and then I'm calling modify health and that's one of our modifier methods which I'll get into later in the state method I am using the images fill amount properties based on the percentage of health and percentage of level complete remember the fill amounts are from zero to one and I'm doing some math to figure out what those values are for both health and experience. Just some simple input and this is what modifies the experience or modifies the health. This will be struck out and replaced with damage dealers coming from the enemies and artificial intelligence. Modify health. Let's take a look at what that is. I'm passing a integer amount as a parameter into this. It can be positive, it can be negative. I'm modifying the current health with the amount that's being passed in and then I'm calculating the percentage of health remaining and that's just current health divided by maximum health and cast as a float. Remember that what populates this fill amount. Experience is just like the health. When I'm passing an amount, I'm adding the amount to the current XP to level. And then I would say, okay, let's do a, a quick check st to see if I've leveled up. If the current experience to level is greater than or equal to the experience per level at the current level iterator in the list, then I'm going to do some quick math of finding out the 10 remaining experiences, the experience per level at the current level iterator minus the current XP level. I'm leveling our character up by actually incrementing the current level by one. Then I'm setting the current XP level to the 10 remaining XP from our subtraction up here. I'm setting the current health back up to the maximum health and I'm call calling modify health again because I, I just modified it here. And that pretty much does it. This all in all took me about 20 minutes to set up and most of that was debugging why I was having float problems in the fill amount. Um, but yeah, uh, this project's going to be completely open source and free for your own projects. I'm including all of the source code. And if there's anything you'd like to see or need help with, just reach out to me and I'll get right back with you. Thank you for watching.